All right, so in this video, and we're going to be using Control Flash to flash the firmware on a PLC processor, which is going to be, in the, our case, a safety processor. Now, this is going to be any guard logics. Again, when it comes down to it, we are going to be using an L73. Uh, so that will be a uh, 1756 L73. And you, this, you could, this pertains also to the L8 series and the compact series as well. So all guard logics, really. I'm going to show you the best practices on how to do safety. Now, currently, we're going to be going from version 33 to version 35. Um, just keep in mind, this is it's not so important, not so much important on what version you're going to, just the, the principles and how to actually flash the firmware, because that does actually get confused people and sometimes does get, uh, you know, hang up on problems and, and end up hanging up, hanging up your processor or messing up, you know, something and, and you have to reset things and just go through and hopefully this video saves you some time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our processor and we're going to note two things. Um, our safety processors processor is currently locked right now so if we go over here we go to properties and we can see in safety we hit it the application safety application right now is locked okay so um, you're not allowed to flash the firmware while it's in why it's locked and just to keep in mind just in this in this case so that just so we're all on the same page I'm on version 33 right now I'm gonna take this to version 35 now uh, again when it comes down to it there's a couple things you need to know uh, you can try to flash your firmware with it locked, but it will fail. Now let's go ahead and do that. So you, most people would think in control flash, you're going to be up here in like, let's just say L75 or the 1756L73S. Uh, you think I would pick that. But in all essence, that that's only going to be up to the legacy versions. The higher versions, you need to be down here at the very bottom where it says guard logics. 5570 safety and then it says 1756 l7 so that's what we're going to choose we're going to choose that right there and then what we're going to go to is we're going to go to our process right here and we're going to go to our processor choose our processor and i'm going to show you what happens when it's locked it's going to tell you the controller must be unlocked to proceed with the firmware update okay so we'll leave our current state we'll leave that the uh, control flash in the current state save us some pro save us some time so what we'll do is we'll come in and put the password in and we'll unlock it so now it is currently unlocked okay so one thing to note the best practice that i've always seen is that you throw the program pro the throw the actual uh, plc program the processor itself throw it in program mode now so there's two things right there that I did right so I, I unlocked the processor okay so you see that safety's unlocked right now I didn't delete the signature I just unlocked it and then I threw the PLC program or the the processor itself into program mode now I'm gonna come back and sec select the same thing we're gonna select the same processor we're gonna then come in here and we're gonna change versions to again we said we're going to go to 35 so in this case we're going to go ahead and then it's going to update the target version and then it says it must be uh you're going to overwrite yeah that's perfectly fine now it's going to start transmitting the data now again this is the best practice on how to do this and it's the simplest and easiest way so make sure you follow those key steps because again if you don't you're going to run into roadblocks where it asks you to manually reset or which is actually pulling the processor and put putting it back in and then it's you know it's going to ask you the same thing again sometimes you'll get lucky and the program will come back in program mode and you'll go ahead and be able to flash it although the easiest and simplest path is to always do exactly like i just just showed in this video go ahead unlock your processor then go ahead put it in program mode and then as soon as you do that have your control flash open or open your control flash at that point pick your version remember if you're going to the higher versions which is let's just say version 21 or higher you're going to be in the higher or actually and some of the higher versions are still in considered legacy but it, i would say between 21 and up to 36 right now you go down to the very bottom it says guard logics and then you down down there it says 1756 
you choose 1756. If you're an L8, choose an L8. If you're an L7, choose an L7. Um, in my case, I was an L73. Um, right now, again, what we're waiting on is, is for the power up pole. So it's currently gave the firmware to the processor. And now it's actually going to power back up, right? So it's going to wait 120 seconds and then it's going to go through its testing procedure, right? So it's actually testing itself to make sure that it's actually, you know, good. Now that countdown kind of goes up and down, kind of don't really take a, you know, take that with a grain of salt. It's not necessarily going to be that actual number. It's waiting on the processor to do what the processor should do, which is test itself, come back online, and then be at the correct version. Now you will have to change your PLC program to match the version you're on. So make sure you do that, right? And to actually change your version anyway, you need to be unlocked. Your safety need your safety signature needs to be unlocked. And you're going to need to go ahead and obviously we'll we'll see these processes in just a second. So the firmware uh, currently we say there's no project in it. So right now it's gonna come back and go ahead and throw the rest of the transmission in there. So we've got two out of four blocks. So you can see that now effectively what it did is it did the first processor first and now it's doing the second processor. Remember in the set 1756s, you have one processor on the left hand side and you have another processor on the right hand side. Doesn't matter what slots you're in. You have two processors. One's a safe, the safety processor itself, and the other one is a safety partner. The safety partner needs to be flashed as well, and that's what it's doing right now. So currently, it's it's transmitted all the firmware to that one, or it actually is finishing up right now, which is transmitting the uh, four out of four. Uh, so this should actually finish up, and as soon as it finishes up, we need to change our program. So just keep that in mind as well. So you're seeing this whole process and you, you know, you're hearing me discuss this and I hope you're watching the full thing and hearing some of the things I'm talking about because you're going to run into this. Okay. It's good to see this, even though it's like you're, you feel like you're just watching the same thing. I, I, I've been there. I understand. I know. So just kind of bear with me here. We're going to, we're going to see this actually come to, you know, full life here in just a second. So it's polling again, it's going through testing the processor, making sure the processor's good, just like it would if you un like pulled the, the processor from the chassis and then pushed it back in, you would see it go through a testing, natural testing process, right? That's what it's doing right now. So just, just in case you, you know, you wanted to actually see what it was doing or something like that, that's all it's doing. It's in test mode. It's a wait. it says wait and then test. Right, so it's going through itself, it's checking itself, and then as soon as it matches back up with the pro safety processor itself, because again, this is flashing the partner. Again, you have a safety partner and a you have a processor and a safety partner. So that's how there's a built-in redundancy right there, and that's really how we stay you know safe and, and secure with, with everything we're doing. So now we should be at the point where everything is flashed up. Now. When it comes down to it, we can look at RS links here in just a second. We'll let this go ahead and tell us. Now, control flash, again, is not the fastest thing, but it did tell us now our current version is 35.011. So we did change from 33 to version 35. Okay, so now we're good. Let's keep control flash open at that point. Um, let's go into our RS links and verify that our processor is version 35. It is. Okay, so now we have our safety code unlocked. What we need to do is come over here and change our processor. Now we can't actually change this code um, unless we do two things, right? So we're gonna have to, we can go and do it a certain way, but honestly you need to delete the signature if, if you're gonna go ahead and upgrade. So we do, even though we did flash the firmware, right? We flashed the firmware at firmware and we verified through RS links that the firmware is good. We need to change our PLC program as well to match that, right? Because it was 33 and now we're 35. You can't download 33 to 35 and you can't change your processor unless you go into your safety and you delete the signature. So we're gonna delete the signature. We're gonna come over here. Now, a lot of times in your, in your systems, 
you're going to have to actually change uh, or you're going to have to have a procedure for that wherever you work there's a procedure on your safety make sure you follow that make sure you just don't do things make sure you follow the the, the procedures that are written and to keep everything safe right generally there's procedures that are there in place for a reason follow those procedures wherever you work and to make sure that you do things as safe as possible i would always recommend especially after you download that you do actually let's go ahead and change the versions real quick just so you can see that we're going to change the versions um let's let this change and i'll go ahead and talk about the rest so what i'm talking about is after you download this you want to go through and make sure test all your zones make sure all your zones or your safety devices are working accordingly Okay, so now it's changing my version. I'm changing from 33 to 35. Now I'm going to need to put the safety signature back in. Now I'm gonna pin this so that we can see everything there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go to safety. I'm gonna then come over here and at this point, put everything back. Now I'm not gonna lock it yet. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna download it first, okay? So just keep that in mind. And it doesn't matter what communication path you're using. You can see I'm using RS Links. You can see that uh, our factory talk links. So you can use the RS Links Classic or the, uh, yeah, RS Links Classic is what generally most people do use. So um, doesn't matter on that side. What's important here is that we do download. We understand what the process is. Now, we're, again, don't run your machines after you download. Make sure you check everything out. Now we want to go into our processor. We want to go over here to safety. We want to generate a safety signature. And you won't generate, sometimes in procedures are written where you won't generate your safety signature until you've tested things. Um, again, we didn't change anything. We didn't change any PLC code. We didn't do anything like that, but we still did actually come over here and you know change versions. So we did have to delete our signature. So now, now at this point, we can go ahead and lock our our code. Uh, let's go ahead and put a password, our password in. Uh, the only thing behind this is you do need to know the safety password. So if you don't know that, there's no way around that, guys. So just know that you have to know that. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and throw it back in run mode. And we can tell at this point that we did successfully update our project to version 35. So we went from 33 to 35 on an L73, and that was the correct procedure. So with throughout this video, you've seen exactly what we did to go from 33 to 35 using control flash, some of the best practices on how to do that, and going above and beyond, we went ahead and took the PLC program and updated that as well. Now again, follow your safety procedures wherever you work, if they're written, Again, there's always generally when, when you do a safety uh, machine or something like that with safeties on it, with guard logics, you have like a safety protocol that you would follow and you would do a checklist of things that you, you go through and check. Uh, that's each individual place that you work at, that I've worked at has a different protocol to do that. So just keep in mind that you do follow the right procedures and you do check that, make sure that everything is safe. The important side behind all of this, if you get anything, is that safety is about safety and that you make sure that things are safe. Don't just flash something up just to flash it. Make sure you understand why you're flashing it, why you're going to that version. Are you getting rid of bugs? Are you just going to that version just because that's all what you have? Are you going to that version just because it's the latest version? Um, I often don't recommend that. Make sure a version is exactly stable before you go to that, but in the same focus as two as, as well safety is safety so make sure you do the thing this the protocols that are there and put in place for you again if you don't have protocols there for you at least go ahead for your own sake and verify that the zones still work the same way they used to right the safety devices still work the same way they used to all your functionality still works exactly the way it was before you did your flash and before you did your plc upgrade so with all that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.